Do you know which is the category that performed at best during the last bull run? Yeah, the answer is blockchains. One of the three tokens that made 100x during the last bull run were a blockchain. So I mean layer one, layer zero, or layer two. And today I wanna to present to you a new one that's coming from one of my sponsors that is Radix, that is about specifically for DeFi. And if you're wondering why we need something for DeFi only, and why it is not enough Ethereum, there is a, a really good reason. And mainly is because, yes, DeFi wanna bring the core of the financial system, bringing what uh, the traditional market has been able to build into that system, into the blockchain world. But just to give you an idea, right now, just to process only transactions that are happening into the uh, traditional finance, it would be needed something like millions of transactions per second, something that at the moment uh, Ethereum is not able to satisfy. And to be fair, it is not something that uh, it will happen not even into the short term, because to reach the kind of level Ethereum, if it will ever uh, be, it will require many years. When I'm talking many years, I'm meaning from four to eight years at least. That's the reason why other blockchains are trying to solve this problem, to create something that could fit the need of the financial world, a world that is going to a speed that is incredible and it is needing a system that is reliable and secure. In this video, we'll explain to you why these blockchains are having a so high value, how Radix is working and what is the current state of the art of this project. So stay tuned because it's quite interesting. And guys, let me say that this channel is about educational content, nothing has to be intended as financial advice. If you want to invest in anything, that's great, but do always your research before. And guys, don't forget to leave us a big thumbs up and drop a comment in the comment section below. That's the easiest and the simplest way to support us. It really means a lot to us, to me. So if you want to do that, I would be more than grateful for that. And don't forget to check all our links into the description below where you can find our weekly newsletter, our Twitter account, and much more that can help you to find more opportunities into the DeFi and crypto space. Okay, guys, let's start immediately. So before digging into Radix, I want to explain to you one thing. In the moment when we analyze the market cap, or for example, we can use CoinGecko, you will see that most of the biggest projects are all blockchains. Ethereum, Binance Smart Chain, XRP, Cardano, Polygon, Polkadot, um, also Solana, Tron, and so on. All of them are blockchains and are all of them into the top 10, 20 projects when we talk about cryptos. And the reason why blockchains are the ones that are having the biggest capitalization is because they are the infrastructure that is literally allowing everything else to be built on top of them. And the reason why these tokens are having a so high value is simply because in order to use that blockchain, you need to pay for transactions. To be fair, also, the kind of value they're having them right now is slightly over an overvaluation compared to the real use case of the blockchains right now. But the whole point is that blockchains are thought to become something that can really satisfy the same amount of transactions that are happening into the real world. And this amount of transactions is literally insane. Imagine just bringing the transactions that are coming from the traditional finance market to the blockchain. We are talking about millions of transactions per second. Not to mention that while TradFi system is something that is still smaller just for a few people, when it comes to DeFi, that's something that could become available for anyone. It doesn't matter from which part of the world. It could be Nigeria, could be Ukraine, could be the Southeast Asia, could be Latin America. So this is something that can literally increase a lot the level of usage of this kind of services, not to mention the level of composability. So the fact that you can use a protocol on top of the other and so on. So the amount of transactions that could be needed by a system, a decentralized system that is working for the financial system could be literally incredibly high. That's the reason why the value of these blockchains is so high. And this same value, if this value proposition will be realized, will increase even more. Just to give you an idea, 
right now Ethereum is having something like 150 billion of capitalization. And according to other uh, forecasting, this value could grow by 10x in the next couple of years probably much more than a couple of years probably it will be required something more but anyway that's a starting point just to give you a comparison between uh, ethereum it is just uh, a project is uh, the number one when we are talking about radix we are talking about a project is still much smaller with uh, a fully diluted market cap of uh, less than one uh, billion and a circulating market cap that is just uh, around 343 million right now uh, the xrd token is listed on bitfinex kucoin and uh, also bitmar if you want to uh, find all the peers you can use a uh, coin gecko or you can check it through the website of uh, radix okay once we have understood that uh, a blockchain that's something that can literally grow a lot in terms of value and that's the reason why also uh, among the top 100, so many projects that has been able to grow so much uh, are uh, blockchains. If you want to know more about the most performing assets during the last bull run, I will leave also my video into the right corner here where you can find projects that made even 1000x and more. And uh, guess what? Yes, it was a blockchain because blockchains are the ones with the highest potential at least right now. When we talk about Radix, we talk about a solution that is dedicated, fully dedicated to work for DeFi. When we are talking about working for DeFi, it means on three layers. First of all, it is something that has to work for developers because developers are who are the persons, are the people that will enable the whole ecosystem to grow. If we don't have enough developers that are working into a specific ecosystem, that ecosystem can't grow. So that's the reason why the first part of the whole growth by uh, Radix is related to building something that should be great for developers. And we will go through in a moment how they are doing that. Second, it should be great from the point of view of the user experience because that's something that should be secure. It should be easy to use and also transparent. One of the goals that Radix is trying to pursue is making understandable. One of the biggest problems when we talk about cryptos and signing a transaction is the blind sign because you don't know what really you are signing because that's the biggest problem when it comes to Solidity and the Ethereum virtual machine. It is giving you the ability to sign a transaction, but even if you are using a ledger, you can't see really what you are signing. And that's something that Radix is trying to solve. The third point is scalability, because obviously if the system can scale, well, it can work. As we have said just a moment ago, to really satisfy the need of the traditional market, uh, traditional finance market, we need a lot of transactions. So let's go back to the uh, developer point of view. So the first point and how Radix is trying to solve it. Well, first of all, as you can see here, it is written built with Scripto. What is Scripto? I will leave you also here an overview to go through uh, what is Scripto. But mainly just to give you a summary is a new language while Ethereum is using Solidity, Radix is using Scripto. Scripto is uh, something that is uh, close to uh, Solana for the simple reason that at the base it has the same language and we are talking about Rust. If you're wondering what is Rust, is another language that has been also used by Nier, Aptos, Sui, uh, Solana, Terra and other blockchains. And this is something that is much more easy to uh, be used for a developer compared to Solidity. On the other side, the main reason why Scripto is innovative is because it is using an asset-oriented smart contract language. So it means that instead of being a general language, it is asset-oriented. So each single type of object, it could be a token and so on, it is defined clearly into the language so you can recall directly that kind of precise asset type that's what it means asset oriented and if you're wondering why i'm telling you because you are maybe wondering 
Why it's so boring to talk about these technical details? Yes, I know, but it's pretty important because it is helping from two point of views. From one point of view is security, and the other one is even more important probably is uh, uh, scalability. Because yes, you will say security is cool and probably it's the most important. But the other side, if you think really, yes, if it's something is 100% secure, but it is able to support just a single transaction, well. It is completely useless. The reality is that we need to find a balance. That's the concept about a trilemma that has been uh, identified by uh, Vitalik, the founder of uh, Ethereum. So the reason why uh, this asset orientation is enabling scalability is because through this system, uh, the engine, and it is called Radix engine, while on Ethereum we have the Ethereum virtual machine that is enabling the system to process all the different transactions. When we come to Radix, we have the Radix engine. It is the one that is translating the different uh, transactions into something that will become a, a transaction validated by the uh, system. The uh, Radix is a blockchain that is a, a, a proof of stake. That's the reason why, for example, if you go into this website, you will find down here uh, the uh, staking with rewards. What is peculiar by the proof of stake is that the rewards are fixed. So each year there are 300 million of Radix token XRD that are dedicated as a reward for uh, people that are staking their tokens are participating to the validation system. On the other side, all the fees that are collected are bar. So token bar, that's something that will help obviously the tokenomics because obviously the more the blockchain is used, also the more the token is becoming deflationary. Going back to our making the environment more friendly for uh, developers. So we have said that we have this language that is uh, uh, better, or at least it is much more oriented to the kind of need that uh, it comes when we have a DeFi protocol. Plus on top of that, it is having a modular structure. So it means that you as a developer can call a specific model instead of using a general purpose infrastructure. All of this, again, is simplifying the scalability because at the same time, the system is able to process more transaction for the simple reason that while on a general purpose, you need to uh, validate all the transactions one after the other one. Transactions that are independent or they are calling different kind of modules or assets could be processed at the same time. And that's the reason why Radix is claiming to have a certain kind of infinite uh, scalability because it is leveraging two ways to uh, reach that goal. From one side, modularity and asset oriented is uh, enabling them to process more transactions at the same time. On the other side, it is having a sort of sharding a scalability from the point of view of a horizontal because more validators can join the system and more transactions could be validated at the same time. Obviously, this is something that right now is not yet happening because as you can see also from the RAR map here, right now we are in the phase that is called Alexandria. Alexandria is something that is still just focus on developers. As we said just a moment ago, developers are a core part of the whole system. And right now, the goal of Radix is providing to developers the greatest user experience and the easiest way to build something that should be cool. With the coming next steps, with the 2023 and 2024, also more release will come. About the news about Redix, this is something that is really important that is happening just these days. And I'm talking about this event here, Rad5. Web3 is broken, there is a way to fix it. Obviously, we are referring to Redix blockchain. And uh, I will keep you posted about this event because it's pretty interesting. When it comes to DeFi, we have always to remind that we are talking about something that is still experimental, that is still under development and is far from being secure. We have just seen in the last year more than 2 billion of assets has been stolen from different products. And that's a big problem because also to attract more institutions, that's what we need in order to scale up. What we need 
is more security. And that's something that is so important. That's the reason why uh, Radix is saying Web3 is broken, but is still alive. And their goal is literally to make it better. I'm pretty curious to see what it will release during this event. I will keep you posted because that's pretty interesting. Just another couple final information about Radix. We are talking about a project is backed by VCs. They have collected funded. Uh, they have been funded uh, uh, several years ago because they started to work uh, nine years ago. And uh, at the beginning, they collected something around nine, uh, six million, sorry, uh, according to uh, Crunchbase. Uh, the token has been already released. And that's something that uh, you can check also on TradingView, the price section. As you can see right now, it is still suffering as the whole market. If you are interested to have this uh, uh, token, you can also download or use their uh, wallet. It's the wallet.radixdlt.com or on the other side, there is also a wallet is called Zeus. That is something that is just a, a plug and play solution like Metamask that you can use on your browser. So just to summarize, in the moment when we are talking about Radix, we are talking about a, a blockchain that is fully dedicated to uh, DeFi. It has a modular structure, it is a proof of stake a, a validation system, and it is barring all the fees that are collected. In order to incentivize the uh, validators, there is an amount of 300 million of tokens that is just dedicated for this function. The uh, system has a limited amount of tokens, and this amount will be reached in the next 40 years so that's something that will require some time to be rich guys let me know what do you think about radix and most of all what do you think about a specific blockchain dedicated to a DeFi? personally speaking i like the idea and i truly believe that ethereum is something that is great that is an ecosystem that will grow probably thanks to all the different layer two but on the other side I truly believe that there is much more space to evolve and to build something that could be using also different kind of solutions from the point of view of the technology. We still have still to remind that Ethereum has uh, born many years ago with a, a certain kind of technology stack. Right now we have a different kind of situation and maybe new solutions are possible to be realized. I'm not saying that uh, Radix will become the next Ethereum or will be able to beat Ethereum. That's not the point. The point is that we are talking about a, a world, a crypto world, a blockchain world that is still experimental, that is growing, and there is space for all the players. And most of all, what matters most is building and finding new solutions to the actual problem. Because, for example, 2 billion of hacks during the last year, it has been an insanely problem. Let me know what do you think about this story into the comment section below. Don't forget to leave me a big thumbs up. I will leave also all the links about Radix, about the Discord, uh, Twitter and so on, so you can uh, stay tuned with that. And plus, guys, don't forget to check out this event, RADFI 2022, that will happen the 8th of December this year, obviously, and the time according to your time zone. It is uh, 6 p.m. GMT or according to your time zone, the equivalent one. Guys, we'll see you soon. Have a good day. Bye.